Hello, this is a short demonstration on how to create an archive file for a project from inside of Eclipse, and then how to work with that file to bring a project back into Eclipse from a zip file. So here I have a project open. This happens to be an Android project in Eclipse, but any project will be fine inside of the Eclipse environment. So we can see here that there's a number of folders, fairly complex structure associated with Android projects. In my root, I've got a source file, like all Java projects will have, and then a few Java files. There's a generated folder for some generated uh, files. Android cl includes a few extra uh, folders for us. The bin file folder is where most of the generated files that are compiled versions of the files will be placed. I've added a docs folder that has a readme and uh, some document, maybe a Word document, in this case an open office document. There's libs, some resources to gain for the Android. We've got a fairly complex substructure here. Now basically the structure isn't so important. What I want to do is I want to be able to export this. You can imagine using this to email your project to another person, or if you need to submit it to some sort of online submission server. So the best way to do that is you take the project you want to zip up, you right click on it, and then you say you want to export. Now we can select what type of thing we want to do for an export. There's a lot of different options here. What we want to do is we want to select under General, Archive File. I'll say Next. And now I can select here what it is I wish to archive. So here's the project folders, expanded in alphabetic order. And inside of each of the, on the right hand side, it's going to show me all of the different things that are being, uh, that are found inside of that folder. So if I go under resources, for example, under drawable, uh, HDPI, I've got here all the different images that are stored there. Now, when I select what to be submitted, I'm not usually going to submit or uh, transmit the bin folder. <clears throat> this can be quite large, and it's not necessarily if you're going to rebuild it anyway. So generally the other person is going to want to rebuild your code, don't submit the bin folder. So now I need to figure out where I'm going to store the file. I'm going to store this on my computer under d colon slash submission slash, let's call this uh, test, test1.zip. I can select the file format, a zip is a great choice, and I want to include directory structures for the file. So I'll click finish here, and I've got a file explorer open here under submissions on my D drive. It's created the file test1. I can double click on it, and it will bring it up in, in this case, 7-zip, and show me the different the file. So here I will show us the non-flat view, my context menu demo, and all the files inside of it. No bin folder, because I chose to exclude that. I've got the doc folder, I've got my source code, so under source, CA, director B, and here's my source files. So we can see that it's got a complete submission of the project, including the project files uh, and the settings for the project. Okay, so now this would be the file that I would then say email or submit to a submission server uh, for someone else to look at. It is quite large, in this case it's half a meg, that's because it's an Android project with some graphics in it. And it's also, most of the space is for the Android jar file, which is required for the Android. So let's go here, and I'm going to say, well, what if I wanted to now bring it into my project? So someone sends you a zip file, how do you import it? We can go to import, and then I want to under general, I'm going to select Existing Project into Workspace. Don't select Archive File. Archive File will allow you to pull in the contents of an archive file, but Eclipse will not treat it as a project. In this case, we want it to be a project, so I'm going to say Existing Project into Workspace. Click Next. And here, normally, it's going to be selected on a root directory, and I can select where it is I want to search for projects. So if you had a project sitting on your hard drive in one location, you could import it here that way. But we've actually got it in a zip file. So I'm going to say here. Now I can browse for it. I just happen to know where it is. So it's under d colon submission slash, and it happens to be called test1.zip. I know that because, well, I was looking at it over here. So I can now collect refresh. And here's the list of projects that already that it found. So I say, well, this is the one I want to add but it's not letting me. Why not? Well, some projects cannot be imported because they already exist in the workspace. So I can't bring in a project that conflicts with that. Well, what can I do? Well, for demo here, I'm going to close the import process and let's just rename this project. So I'm going to go F2 and I'm going to call this old. With any luck, it's going to successfully rename the project. One suggestion is be careful naming things like old or old2. You might want to name it with a date 
Or if you think it can be deleted, I would name it old underscore delete me or something like that. That leaves no doubt in your mind as to what should be done with this as if the import process succeeds. So I'm going to import here existing project from workspace. Again from d colon slash submission slash test one dot zip. And now it'll let me select it, no warning here. I'm going to correctly import it. I'll click finish. And we can see how it's now imported the copy from the archive. I can expand it. It's got my two source code files. It's got my uh, docs folder. Bin, well that was something that was actually just recreated for me when the project was recompiled by the Android tools. And there's a resource folder here with all of my images in it. I could then run this and use it as my uh, project. All right, so what have we seen? We've seen how to export a project, including all resources and folders inside of it, except the bin folder, into a zip file. We've looked at that file, we saw how we could process it, and now we saw how we could import it back in as a new project. You generally wouldn't want to have two copies of the same project in your workspace, but you might want to do something like this if you're working with a teammate and they sent you a file via uh, email. Of course, you're probably going to want to use something like SVN or Git instead of this sort of email exchange, but in some cases it can be quite useful. All right, thank you for watching.